this video, I'm going to go over how to add the products list element to your page. So I'm going to click add an element here. I'm going to search for products. There's products list. And now here I am in the options for products list. I can select custom posts. Um, it's called posts, but it is products. Um, everything's just called a post in WordPress. And then we can select the category here. So if we have only a certain category of products we want to show here, we can do that as well. The products list element is more geared towards a lot of products in one spot. Um, that's why the image here is a little bit smaller and we place more emphasis on the product name and the cost because at this point the user is browsing through the products and they're, uh, they're making the decision on their own. We're not really featuring just a couple products. Um, this is more, uh, here's all of our products. So we can change the offset here. If I were to enter an amount here, uh, not much will happen because I only have one product. But if there were more products to the right of this product, there would be a more there'd be more space between the products than there otherwise would. So this allows you to change the spacing between the columns if you so desire. Here we can order the products by quite a few uh, criteria here. So we can just do the product ID. Um, we do the name of the product, the title of the product, uh, the date the product was first published, uh, the date the product was last modified. Just do a random order if we wanted to. We could order it by comment count. Um, this is uh, this is a good way of uh, ordering it by most popular because generally the most popular uh, products have the most comments. And we can do menu order as well in case we wanted to order it by the way the menu is in the shop. So I'm just going to order it by title here. And we can set the order direction, either ascending or descending, however we, however we prefer. I can select the tag here. So if there were a tag for certain items, uh, we could do uh, only certain tags. Um, but we don't have any tags set up. But for example, if you had several items tagged blue, uh, you could select that. Now all items with the tag blue will appear in the search results. Um, that's different from category in that it will show uh, blue tags from all categories. Or if you do have a category selected, it will show blue tags from only the category you selected up above. So it's a really good way if you have a lot of items in your shop to really show only the things you think that people will be interested in on that page. Then down here, this is how we can filter the posts. So we can, uh, once again, order the post by title sales, uh, just random again. We could do uh, date-wise, so that's uh, whenever they were published, or just normal. So we're going to select title just because uh, generally we just want it to be A to Z order. Once again, ascending allows us to go A to Z order, or descending if we want, we could go Z to A. Then we can show all items, all featured items, or all items which are on sale. This is really good if we have a lot of sale items. We, you know, you're doing an end of the year sale, or you're doing a, a big blowout sale. You can say, here's a lot of items on sale, and it's as simple as just clicking this button. Now items that are on sale will appear. Of course, those wings aren't on sale, so they disappeared. I'll switch it back to all. And there we are. Then last but not least here. We have the auto stock option. Uh, some people prefer to not show any items that are out of stock uh, simply because they don't want customers to click through, get really interested in it, see that it's out of stock, and be discouraged from buying other things. So if we exclude out of stock items, now only in stock items will be included so we, you know when they click on that item, they will be able to buy it. Once you're happy with all the settings you made, you can hit apply, you can hit update. Once it's done updating, it's now live on your site. If you have any questions about the products list, please let us know. We'll be more than happy to help. Thank you.